Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome back to Desperia. Hope everybody's having a wonderful day. And I think things are about to get serious here. In the last episode, we uh, fought a bunch of people. We found out the kids are being held somewhere in the underwater or waterworks or something, sewers, whatever you want to call it. So we are hopefully near the end of this mystery. And we're going to find, find these kids. And we're probably going to find lots of creepy monsters at the same time. So, no more outside stuff. So, now clicking on that, you know, pump thing that was in the bazaar, we get to go down here into, yeah, some creepy sewer place, so... It's almost like we're back at the beginning of the game. Some kind of underground area. Well, we got a few different ways we can go. Interesting. I'm just looking around here. That, that blue light is kind of creepy. Uh-oh. We've got our... Sesu. Our teacher. And apparently she's part of this whole thing. Knew it. Can't trust anybody in these games. Can't trust the doctors. Can't trust the innocent people. You can never trust your sensei. And it looks like several people were killed in this room. For some reason, she's admitting to, you know, some of the things, but she seems to be pretty calm about it, like, uh, it was necessary. And our main character, Alua, is wondering, you know, what the heck is going on here in Central? You know, with these uh, church factions. They, they seem to list this other church cult, you know, Kara, which sounds like color or something, but, uh, well, maybe Toko is somebody I can trust, I don't know. And she's asking why, so we're having a... We're having kind of a discussion about Sesu, the teacher, what her motives are, you know, what's going on here. The mystery deepens. I think these two, well, not her, but the other two girls are fairly innocent, good characters. But our teacher seems to be up to something for some reason. Probably for the greater good. She's trying to plea with her. May have to take her into custody, but we need to find the children.
I guess the girl in black is more kind of trusting. She can't believe that Cess would do something like this. But uh, we need to... I don't know if she's the mastermind. Maybe uh, she's not. Maybe there's somebody even higher up. Toko may be right. Kara no Ajito. Yeah, so the, the hideout of this group called Kara. I'm not sure why they're called that. Kind of a quite a few weird names in this game. Like the main character's name, Alu, is hard to say. Hey. We get a bar handle. Another one of those key things to open a door somewhere, I'm sure. Kind of afraid to check all these corpses on the ground. Those aren't kids, are they? So I hope not. Something over here in the duct. An old map, huh? Nice. A schematic of the uh, waterworks. See, I know sometimes this game is a little boring because it's a, you know, horror story game. Whoa. And that damaged me. Ouch. So don't do a dive on dead bodies. Let's see what this map looks like. Yeah, see, it's like every area in the game has a different looking map. It's like they're all a unique design. I find that kind of interesting. An interesting aspect. It's like every map is different. But yeah, I just, I'm trying to observe everything and do a dive, a mind dive on everything as well. Everyone come quick. Sess. So something's up with Cest here, or Cess, I mean. Oh, I have trouble saying the katakana names in this game. But I know I know it's not the most exciting because I have to check everything and do a dive on everything. Toko, something's bad. Something happened to Cess. And she ran into the sewers. And the grown black ran after her. Great, we've got something bad going on here. some random enemies down here. Giant insects. You know, I kind of miss the uh, creepy human-looking androids now. variety. It's 
it's kind of cool. There's quite the variety, you know, of enemies in this game. Very few repeats. So you're always facing something new and interesting. So is that red spot, is that a door? Seems like it should be a door. For some reason there's nothing here. I can't go through there. Hmm. Go back over here and check this one again. The pump room. So I can go in here, but... And it's marked on the map as kind of a red side room, so maybe maybe something pops out of that other one? I don't know. Maybe I'm reading the map incorrectly. Yeah. Lovely. More gross insects. Talk like Hubert. As you can see, if you've been watching me play through this game, I've made a few more familiars. Or minions, whatever you want to call them. Um, just to have some stronger ones experimenting with that minion maker room. Yeah, see, there's like a red square there. Like, there should be a room back here. Apparently not. So I'm gonna go down all these halls. And here is where we're gonna use the handle. Oh boy. Let's head deeper. Oh come on, one of the turbaned ones. Okay, when Hen just took him out. Those guys are seem to be a little tougher. I think I prefer the bugs. Okay, so let me check all these dead ends here. See, it looks like there's, at each of these blue spots, there's like a red room. Yeah, so I can go inside these. But yeah, like I was saying before, I know these uh, games aren't the most exciting to watch. And my commentary isn't always the most exciting. But that's usually how an adventure game goes, I guess. It's kind of nice that it's broken up into the RPG elements with the fights. But yeah, I do kind of get tired of like repeatedly checking things and looking at things. Didn't seem to be anything of value in there. Wow, these tunnels are pretty creepy. There's something there. Halua. What? What in the world is that? Seth has suddenly become a Bakemono. What in the world? That is creepy.
So Sess ran into the duct as an ugly, creepy monster. Okay, something's going on here. Like, I wonder if uh, she is being used also by somebody else. Okay, that room is locked. I bet you that's where the kids are. Okay, that's route number six, route number seven. Let's just go in here. Okay, this looks like the opposite side where all the other pumps are. Like in the bazaar, you know, there were two pumps on either side. Doesn't seem to be anything I can interact with except the stairs here, and they are locked. Of course, always locked. Why is everything always locked? Can we leave something open for a change? Check this room one more time. It's kind of odd that it's here and nothing... There was nothing I could do. Kurita. So Sess has become a Kurita for some unknown reason. At least unknown to me, the Baka Gaijin. Oh, hey, I can turn the switch on and flush her out of the pipe system or wherever she ran to. That's creepy. Arua, hayaku. Hayaku kite. Come quickly. Oh my goodness. What did she like? killer or something or just grabbing her there as a hostage that was creepy got our tentacle attack in for the day so yeah by turning on the steam and the pressure in here i guess i flushed her out of wherever she was hiding so yeah i don't think I want to exit this room because she's out here somewhere uh, before that I have to fight something else that's ugly well that was strange it let me run away I chose the uh, runaway option, by the way, from that fight. Um, first time to do so, I just wanted to see how it worked. What is that? It looks like a person backwards with a creature on it. Looks like there's a girl inside there, but she's facing the opposite direction. But yeah, you can run away in this game. Um, that last battle, I thought I would try it just to see if it worked, and I ran away immediately, so... If 
you don't want to fight, you can escape, apparently. Great, now I got poison. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Yeah, a lot of enemies down here. Still can't go in there. Bet you anything that's where the kids are. Alua. Somebody keeps calling my name. She somehow got away. She got away, but she's choking and coughing. Either that or she's about to turn into a zombie on me. He says, Anohito, please don't kill Sis. Sorry, but I'm not feeling good. Yeah, after that scene, you probably wouldn't be feeling good. Okay, she's gonna get out of the sewers. Good idea. And we're supposed to face uh, Cess here, but not kill her. So I don't know how to do that. Great. It's like, what the heck is that face up there? It's like somehow her mind is corrupt. Okay, I made a cut there because this is a long fight. As you can see, I destroyed the minions and there were some new ones. Finally took her out. Almost lost all of my, my guys. Everybody was low on MP. Wow. Definitely have to come prepared for that. That was a pretty tough fight. 
Finished it my first try, but still. Hey, there she is, normal. Aloha. My beloved child, please be careful. Protect your heart and mind, blah, blah, blah. So in her last moments, she gave us some advice and disappeared. So, yeah, I think somebody did something to her. Like, uh, using the weaknesses, like, you know, people with the mind abilities maybe are susceptible to certain things. And whoever the main villain is, or whatever the villainy that's going on in this game, you know, knows about it. Hey, so we got a card of that creepy church group. An access card. So this is probably the card that uh, activates the laptop that we left behind in the previous episode. If you remember, there was a room, there was a laptop on the table with no power cord and um, or a power button or anything is how it was described. And I guess putting in a card activates the system. So, Sess, what happened? Yeah, she's still puking there, huh? Why? Why did this happen? This is the second time for this kind of pattern to happen. Yeah, it's like some... Some mind god is, like, screwing with people. Especially, uh, you know, mind users are the ones that are affected the most, instead of the normal people. I'm surprised the girl in black got away, though. I don't know how she got away from that other scene. I assumed Cess was, like, gonna infect her or something. So we need to find the hideout, this Kara... Um group's hideout because that's where the kids must be and we get warped back to our creepy priest I'll bet you he's the main villain I just know it he's pretending to be all pious and everything there So yeah, we filled him in on kind of what was going on, and we're back here in the uh, in the church area. So I think I'm gonna take a break here. We had quite a bit of stuff going on. I need to recharge my guys. A lot of my minions are hurt. I guess we'll go to the doctor, the creepy doctor, and have him heal us. Man, that's expensive. And yeah, in the next episode, we'll take that card that we just got, and we'll go put it in that laptop and see what kind of new information we get. And hopefully that will finally lead us to where the kids are, although I'm a little worried that they may not be kids anymore. They've been gone a little too long. I'm not sure what's been going on. But yeah, things are getting interesting. I want to thank everybody for joining me, and I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thanks for watching, and we'll continue in the next one. Ja, minasan, matane.